Scale is an exponential multiplier or divider, depending on how you set it, that's available to you for both your available volume for your safety trades and the distance of the price deviation. So let's talk first about volume because it's a little bit easier to understand. The default setting for the volume scale is set to one, which means that if you have the safety order amount set to two, and you have five of those safety trades, then it's gonna be two, 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 two. It's gonna be equal. But if you were to increase that volume scale multiplier to two, then that would mean that it would be exponentially growing, where it would be two for the first one, then four, eight, 16, and then 32. I'm so glad I could say that and not have to look at a spreadsheet to do that. That's a little bit embarrassing to admit, but I'm just saying. So when you're thinking about exponentially increasing that volume, you also have to plan ahead. Maybe you don't have 32 total volume available. So use this with discretion. Understand that more is not necessarily better all the time. You wanna be careful about this. The safety scale option is similar to volume, except now we're thinking about the distance. So let's say that the safety deviation percentage is five. So if we have our safety scale set to one, then it's gonna be five, 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 again with five safety traits. But if we're going to add a uh, safety scale volume of 2.0, then it's gonna exponentially grow. There's a problem to this though, because if we have five times two is 10, times two is 20, times two, and we keep going exponentially bigger and bigger and bigger. The problem with this is that we're going to eventually run out of space because our safety volume scale will have a conflict with the chart because charts can only go down 99%. Do you get the problem here? So when you're planning this, this is why, again, I don't think having more safety trades is really the key to successful bot trading. I think less is more. So that's why I stick to two. So for an example, if I had it set to a safety scale of two and I have two safety trades at 5%, then it would be 5% for the first safety order. And that means here's my base order and here's safety one. And then that would mean the next one is gonna be two of those. It's gonna be 10% lower. So the total safety spread is gonna be about 15% in total, five and then 10, adding it up all together. Scale is a great way to take advantage of exponential price action moving against where you're looking to take profit, whether it's for a long bot or for a short bot.